Welcome again. This is Jim here on Educator.com, and today we are going to talk about the single most effective, probably one of the more important advertising and marketing mediums on the internet, and that is in the form of an e-newsletter. And in this lesson overview, we will talk about the purpose of e-newsletter, the protocol. In fact, we're going to be sending out an actual e-newsletter in this lesson. We're going to talk about how to create one and the different online tools and websites that help you create successful online uh, e-letters and newsletters and surveys, things of that nature. Some of them you may already know, like uh, Constant Contact, Eye Contact. We're going to go over all those uh, today. And before I do, let me show you a great example of news e-newsletter that I receive almost on a daily basis. I mean, people are so used to them right now. This is my personal Hotmail account. As you can see on the right side, you've got a campaign, uh, uh, you know, uh, President Obama, and there's the First Lady Michelle. Of course, I'm not endorsing anything. It just appeared on my, uh, on my email account. So I'm going to click on this first link right here, and there you see is an example of an e-newsletter. Okay, and let's study this a little bit. Okay, it's got a nice little ad banner on the top, and I'm going to increase the size so you can clearly see what they're doing here. This is a, a newsletter from a website called BeliefNet. And websites like this, they collect your name and your email, most importantly your email, and they send out these newsletters to get you to go back into their website to share articles or promote a product or you know, whatever their intentions are. But an e-newsletter serves as a reminder that they exist, that you signed up, and that you are interested in what they have to offer. And so as you can see with this particular website, they more or less promote their articles. On the bottom, as you can see, uh, there is an unsubscribe link, so by law, you have to allow your people or your pe the people on your list to unsubscribe. In addition, you must communicate your mailing address. And also, uh, ch you, you, don't, you don't have to allow them to change their uh, email address, but you need to communicate who you are, where you are. So you just can't randomly send out newsletters. You gotta identify yourself. You've got also, you may want to express how you were able to get the person's email to begin. 